Hey Pabli family, this is Hector. In this tutorial, I want to explain, I want to show you how we can integrate Minichat with um, Pabli email marketing. I want to add it to a list, specific list inside Pabli email marketing. So let's log in, of course, into Pabli Connect. Let's create a new workflow. Let's label it Minichat to Pabli email, because that's where we're going to get the information from Minichat. We're going to send it to Pabli email. Let's select many chat from the list, the huge list of apps. Let's um, select the method with which is going to be external request, um, the module inside many chat. Let's copy the webhook URL and let's go to many chat. I created this simple uh, flow. We're going to ask for the email. So the point is just getting their email and sending it automatically to list inside Pabli email marketing. Um, so, the e so the message is going to be what's your email. Uh, we're going to save it as a system field. Reply type is an email. We're, we're actually going to perform an action. That's, that's the important thing. That's, this is where the link is going to, going to go. Uh, the, the error message and the skip button. So let's perform an action. You can see there's a little square or a yellow square here. Um, let's add the action. And the action is going to be an external request. Because it's going out of many chat. Let's add the request. And um, let's uh, leave the request type as a post. Let's go back to Public Connect. Let's copy again the link. Let's paste the link in, in, in here. And let's test it. Okay, 200 okay. An error, invalid webhook data because we haven't specified which information we're gonna send to um, Pavli Connect. Let's off add uh, full subscriber data just uh, for testing purposes. Again, we have all the information. We, we just wanna send all the information. In some cases, you're gonna have uh, custom fields. In some cases, you're gonna have some information you wanna store inside Pavli email marketing. So this is just, just for testing. Let's add all the information. Let's uh, test the request again. Okay, here we go. The 200 okay, response body. There's no error anymore. Let's try and capture webhook response. So, we, so we're gonna be able to see all the information inside Pavli Connect. And this is awesome because you, you're gonna be able, just check it out. Let's test again. Response accepted. So hopefully all the information is already over there inside Public Connect. And yes, it is. Never fails. Uh, okay, so we see all the information we sent. We basically got the whole information, even the custom fields, just everything inside ManyChat. We're, we, we have it already on, on Public Connect. So that's the first step. It was successful. Um, Next thing we, we want to do, let's save this. Next next thing we want to do is to add Pavli email marketing afterwards because that's where we're 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 gonna see uh, we're gonna send the information. Let's select Pavli email marketing. We're at, we're gonna add uh, the subscriber. It's, it's actually gonna go to um, a specific list. So let's connect with Pavli email. Oh wow, whoa! What the hell is this? And it's actually pretty simple. This is uh, this is the way it's going to connect to Public Connect. So it's actually asking asking us for a token because uh, we don't have a credential yet. This is the first time we're connecting it. So the token it, it's going to be easy. Even you're going to see the 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 instructions here how to get your your to your token. So let's go. We're going to go into integrations. We're going to uh, press develop per API and here is uh, the token. Let's copy the token. Let's go back. Let's paste the token here. Just save it and it's connected now. It's That was super simple. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, select the specific list. So let's go to Pavli email marketing. I have two lists. It's going to be the default list, but for this test, for this test, we're gonna select the potential. 
It's a potential customer. We're, we're just uh, um, uh, pretending we're getting information from a potential customer. So I added a list uh, called potential. So we select the list where we want to send the information to. It's going to be potential. Um, just let, let's just leave a single. Let's add the email we want to we, we wanna add to the list. And the way we do this is just click here. You're going to see all the information we extracted from ManyChat. So there's one field, which is the system email field. We're going we're, we're gonna to select it. It's here, email. We're going to select it. And we can select uh, the name also. Let's just add the first name. And let's save this. And we can just send a test request to see if it's working. Okay, successful. It says uh, the, the list was updated successfully. Let's see if this is true. Let's go back to Pavli email marketing. Let's um, go, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back to subscriber list. Oh, and was, we see it's updated already. Let's go to potential list and there you go. We see the email here and the name we selected um, inside Pavli Connect. So this is pretty awesome. It's all it's almost there. So let's test the whole the the, the whole um, integration. Let's go to ManyChat. Let's open the flow. Let's uh, publish. Let's publish the flow, and let's do a preview. What's your email? The customer has two options to select the, the email from the display button there and or just write an email. My other email. Let's send it. We should get a thank you uh, message. So let's go to Pavli email marketing. Just refresh and we see two potential customers. Let's see if it's true. Here we go. My other email is here and the name is there. So it's working. As soon as someone joins the list, you can send an email. So imagine saving a bunch of time and uh, making life easier. Just Pavli, whichever service you use from Pavli, it's always awesome. So I hope this, e this uh, little tutorial was helpful. We'll see you on the next one. Pavli family, take care.